Good morning to all. As we gather on beautiful Monday, on the Memorial Day, we remember some men and women who sacrificed their life to serve this country. So let us begin in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Amen. Amen. The gospel message today reminded us of oh, Jesus set a tone for us for the coming, the spirit of truth. For many of us, it's also remind us how we live out our own baptism. So for this, for this morning, let us take a moment to look at our shortcomings, our failures, as we be, uh, prepare to celebrate the sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the constraint of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, have mercy. You came to call sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are sitting at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the power of the Holy Spirit come to us, we pray, O Lord, that we may keep your will faithfully in mind and express it in a devout way of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your sons, who live and reign with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. While the Apostles was in Corinth, Paul passed through the entire prayer of the country and came to the places. There he found some disciples to whom he put the question. Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you became believers? They answered, We have not so much as heard that there is the Holy Spirit. Well, how would you baptize? He persisted. They relied with the baptism of John. Paul then explained, John's baptism was the baptism of repentance. He used to tell the people about the one who would come after him, in whom they were to believe, that is Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. As Paul laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came down on them, and they began to speak in tongues. And to put the prophecies, there were in the company about crowned men in all. Paul entered the synagogue, and over a period of three months, debated fearlessly with persistency agreements about the kingdom of God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. to God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing, Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. earth. God arises, his enemies are scattered, and those who hate him flee before him. As the wolf is driven away, so are they driven as washed mouths before the fire. Sing to the kingdom of the earth. But they just rejoice and exhaust before God. They are glad and rejoice. Sing to God. <clears throat> just praise to his name. His name is the Lord. Exhaust before him. Sing to the kingdom of the earth. The father of orphans and the <clears throat> and the defender, the defender of widows, is God in his holy dwelling. God gives a home to the forsaken. He lists forth prisoners to prosper the city.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. A reading from Holy Gospel according to John. Lord, 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 Lord. Lord. The disciples said to Jesus, At last you are speaking clearly about without talking in real language. We are convinced that you know everything. There's no need for anyone to ask you questions. We do indeed believe you came from God. Jesus answered, Do you really believe? An hour is coming. Has indeed already come. When you will be scattered and each will go his way, leaving me quite alone. Yet, I can never be alone. The Father is with me. I tell you all this, that in me you may find peace. You will suffer in the world. But take courage, I have, I have overcome the world. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Here the reading from the Acts of Apostles. There's a disagreement, a little disagreement theologically and practice in the early church about baptism. And for many of us, we know how it goes, even to this day, in our 21st century. The question is that, for many of us, how, how or where, how or where we receive our baptism? But it's about how we live in it. How do we live our life? The call of baptism. Our baptism should be a constant reminder a constant reminder for us to examine how we live our life in spirit. And for many of us, when we receive a confirmation, it's also another reminder for us, what does the gift of Holy, Holy Spirit mean for us? I think for many of us, it's, it's a daily awareness. Call us to openness, to openness to the spirit of truth that fill us more and more and guide us in our daily life. Living out our faith in Christ through love, through compassion, humility, and <clears throat> forgiveness. I think it's a, it's a quite a challenge. It's quite a challenge for us. But for many of us, this begins with the first step of how we open the openness to the spirit of truth, allow us to engage in daily life allow us to be aware of our surroundings, especially allow us to enter into relationship and encounter with our neighbors and with our loved ones. To a certain degree, allow us to begin in the process of healing and forgiveness. So let us continue to pray for openness to the spirit of truth, to guide us in our daily life. Now let us offer our prayer petition. We pray for uh, we pray for new outpouring the spirit upon the Christian community, that God will heal all the wounds in the body of Christ, free, free us from fear, and unite us in mission and worship. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all the leaders in the parishes and all the parishes that they may develop a wise practice at public gathering and resume celebrating Mass and worship, so that we be safe and be a safe place to worship. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all who are seeking employment, that God will open new opportunity for them to use their gift and talent, help them to recognize new ways to serve the human family. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all who are ill, particularly those with COVID-19, that God will heal, God's healing spirit will fill them, ease their pain, and restore them to health. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray for men and women who serve our country. At the same time, we also pray for uh, the soul of Frida Rolandic, Baba Voice, Father Donnell, uh, Father Dennis Morrow, and all who passed away due to COVID-19, let us ask God uh, for them to join God in eternal life. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray for Mass intention today that we call it in the book. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God the Father, mercy and love, we ask you to listen to our prayer and grant them according to your holy will. We ask all this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the breath we offer you. The fruit of the earth and the work of human hands, this will become for us the breath of life. Bless us, the name of God Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the one we offer you. The fruit of the vine and the work of human hands, this will become our spiritual drink. Bless us, God, forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of the for the grace and glory of God's name, for our good and good of all God's holy church. May this unblemished sacrifice purify us, O Lord, and impart to our minds the force of grace from on high through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time of all, to love you yet more gloriously. When Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed, for with the old order destroyed, a universe kept out is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people exalt in your praise, and even the heavenly powers, with angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, you are the Holy O Lord, the found of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gift, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more gave him thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim the death of the Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the breath of life in the chalice of salvation. 
giving thanks, let your powers will be, to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis of Hope and David, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph Christos, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may bear to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the sacred command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Amen. Father, who art in heaven, 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 hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace that leaves you, and my peace that gives you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. spirit. Let all for each other's son of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold our Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter the room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Our act of spiritual healing. My Jesus, my Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the Blessed Sacrament. I believe that you are truly present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things. I love you above all things. And I desire that you reside always in my soul. And I desire that you reside always in my soul. Since I cannot at this time, since I cannot at this time, receive you sacramentally, Receive you sacramentally. Please come spiritually into my heart. Please come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you and unite myself completely to you. I embrace you and unite myself completely to you. As though you were already there. As though you were already there. Please, Lord. Please, Lord. Do not ever let me be separated from you. Do not ever let me be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we praise the Lord, and lead those you have endured heavenly mystery to pass from former way to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The masses and they go in peace. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Yeah. To God. I have a couple little announcements. Just a quick reminder that we still need your information as we send out information, uh, plannings, and uh, through your email. And especially, we need a lot of volunteers to help us with cleaning, sanitizing the church. And you know that we do have a big church. A lot of spaces need to be taken care of. Um, other than that, I would say that today Memorial Day, have a good day, be safe, stay healthy, and remember us when you have a good dinner. Have a good day. <laughs>